Hello, I'm Eleanor Riles, Youth Engagement and Volunteer Officer for Healthwatch Central Bedfordshire. Healthwatch is a local consumer champion for the health and social care sector, and we strive to be the voice of the people, in your case, the voice of the young people, some of whom already volunteer for Healthwatch, enabling them to provide a voice for your generation. There are many health and social care services that don't always involve young people in how they're provided and delivered. You could help change that. Health and care services include visiting your doctor, going to the dentist, being a patient on the children's ward at a local hospital, or even visiting a physiotherapist. The way health services are provided to you, or a relative, or a friend at school, may not be the way you'd like them to be. And you may feel that something wasn't quite right, or that things could be done differently to make your experience better, or even amazing. To help improve services, you can get involved and shape how you would like that service delivered to you. During the pandemic, life hasn't been easy for anyone and you may have felt it more than ever with suddenly having to be schooled at home, being separated from your friends and having your exams thrown up in the air. Perhaps during this time you've accessed some support for your mental health, such as Keith, which is an online mental health support organisation specifically for young people. Or if you haven't, and if you knew about it, you may be thinking about contacting them because you would have really welcomed their advice and support. If you join Young Health Watch, you can work with these organisations and get to know what they have to offer. You might want to have a career in the health sector as a doctor, a nurse or a physio. You may have a personal interest due to a medical ailment you, a relative or a friend may have. Or maybe you just want to find out more about health and care services so you can influence and change how these services are delivered. If that's the case, then Young Health Watch is the organisation that can help you to do that. If you want to support your application to college, university or even for a future job, then Young Health Watch will help to provide vital skills to enable you to stand head and shoulders above the rest. Let's look at some of the exciting projects and activities our young volunteers get involved in and we'll hear from some of the volunteers themselves. If you're aged between 13 and 24, you live in central beds or you have access services in central Bedfordshire and you have a spare couple of hours once a month, then you could be part of Young Health Watch. We have meetings to chat about health and social care services, sometimes with pizza. You could help to run our social media, create blogs, vlogs or podcasts, or take photographs. You might help to write and design a report, and you could be influential in shaping the services you use. Some of our Young Health Watch volunteers created the Bedford Hospital Report, a review of the children's ward at Bedford Hospital, and made recommendations for changes to the hospital management team. Or you could just come along to be part of the social side of Young Health Watch and be part of the group. Some of the projects you could get involved in include Don't Stop the Beat, which trains young people in central Bedfordshire on how to perform CPR. Young Health Watch was lucky enough to win a grant to run this vital project, a life skill that everyone should have. You could be part of the team to deliver this training to your peers. We work with partners to run podcast training, which you could also be part of. We are currently running our virtual Just Ask tour, where we ask the public their experiences of health and social care services. You could be part of the team, engaging with people, talking about their concerns. We are planning for Young Health Watch to run this tour in the summer. We also get asked by local health and social care services for young volunteers to attend their meetings to help represent the voice of the young people. Ride the buses. This project idea came from a young volunteer who felt discriminated against sitting in disabled seats on the buses because she has a hidden disability. Young Health Watch received a grant to run this project and surveyed members of the public by taking some bus journeys and then writing a report of their findings. The bus companies agreed to space supporting posters in the buses too. We haven't started this project yet due to COVID-19 restrictions, so it's a perfect time to join and get involved at the planning stage. When you join Young Health Watch, we'll give you a t-shirt, training opportunities, work experience, a chance to develop new skills, a certificate for every 10 hours you volunteer with us and the chance to meet new people. But most of all, you'll be helping to shape your local health and care services. I come back to Young Health Watch because I just enjoy being there. I enjoy seeing all the people that are there. I enjoy every opportunity that comes to me. I like making a difference and, you know, it's helped me in my skills, like my public speaking skills. It's really helped me and, um, yeah, I got to be on BBC and that was fun. Volunteering with Young Health Watch has really made me realise the impact that the youth can actually have on the community and the importance of our voice being, being heard. It's opened a lot of doors for me um, in terms of what I want to do with my career and how I want to progress in the future. Volunteering is definitely one of the most rewarding things that I've ever done in my life. The main reasons that I've stayed at Young Health Watch is because it helped me with my future endeavours like working here at Cancer Research UK. 
I hope this has given you an insight into what Young Health Watch is all about. If you have any questions, please get in touch. But if you are interested in joining as a volunteer, then we would love to have you on board. My contact details at the end of the video. You can email me, text or call me. I'm just on the end of the phone. Thanks for listening and I hope you'll take part and become a Young Health Watch volunteer.